Good morning, everybody. Are we ready to do God Loves Me? God loves me from the top of my head to the tips of my toes, from my earlobes to the end of my nose. God loves my back and my front and my wiggly fingers. God loves me. Again, God loves me from the top of my head to the tips of my toes, from my earlobes to the end of my nose. God loves my back and my front and my wiggly fingers. God loves me. On the road to Emmaus. That same day, two of Jesus' followers were going to a town named Emmaus. It was about seven miles from Jerusalem. They were talking about everything that had happened. While they were discussing these things, Jesus himself came near and began walking with them. They were not allowed to recognise Jesus. Then he said, what are these things you are talking about while you walk? The two followers stopped. Their faces were very sad. The one named Cleopas answered, you must be the only one in Jerusalem who does not know what has just happened there. Jesus said to them, what are you talking about? The followers said, it's about Jesus of Nazareth. He was a prophet from God to all the people. He said and did many powerful things. Our leaders and the leading priests gave him up to be judged and killed. They nailed him to a cross. But we were hoping that he would free the Jews. It's now the third day since this happened. And today, some women among us told us some amazing things. Early this morning, they went to the tomb. They did not find his body there. They came and told us they had seen a vision of angels. The angels said that Jesus was alive. So some of our group went to the tomb too. They found it just as the women said, but they did not see Jesus. And Jesus said to them, you are foolish and slow to realise what is true. You should believe everything the prophet said. They said that the Christ must suffer these things before he enters his glory. Then Jesus began to explain everything that had been written about himself in the scriptures. He started with Moses and then he talked about what all the prophets had said about him. They came near the town of Emmaus. And Jesus acted as if he did not plan to stop. But they begged him, stay with us, it's late, it's almost night. So he went in to stay with them. Jesus sat down with them. He took some bread. He gave thanks for the food and divided it. Then he gave it to them. And then they were allowed to recognise Jesus. When they saw who he was, he disappeared. They said to each other, when Jesus talked to us on the road, it was felt like a fire burning in us. It was exciting when he explained the true meaning of the scriptures. So the two followers got up at once and went back to Jerusalem. There they found the 11 apostles and others gathered. They were saying, the Lord really has risen from death. He has showed himself to Simon. Then the two followers told what had happened on the road. They talked about how they recognised Jesus when he divided the bread. I wonder, can we always see things clearly? Do we always recognise things when they're straight in front of us? Shall we see? The disciples couldn't really see who Jesus was. Sometimes we find it difficult to see things as well. Can you see any shapes or pictures on my piece of paper? No. But 
there are. We just can't see them. Let's see if we can find them. Can you see it more clearly now? Like a heart shape. What about this one? What shape is that? <clears throat> can you see this one? see things. Perhaps we need to wear our glasses or look more carefully. Uh, sometimes we just need it to be revealed. Shall we have a go at telling the story and setting it up together? You'll need something for the road, a piece of cloth, something for Jerusalem, so it's towers and flat roofs, something for the city of Emmaus, another building shaped, and then you need the two disciples who are going to walk along the road and Jesus, and then something to sit down at the at. Uh, where Jesus breaks the bread. So we're going to put down the road and Jerusalem and Emmaus. Have you got your two disciples? Who are walking along the road from Jerusalem to Emmaus. disciples were very sad. They were walking along the road and they were talking about Jesus' death. When suddenly somebody appeared with them. But they didn't recognise who he was. And he started to walk with them. And he asked them, what are you talking about? Everyone in Jerusalem was talking about Jesus. Where had this stranger been? Cleopas said, we're talking about our friend, the prophet Jesus. We thought he was the Messiah, the one sent by God to save Israel. But he was killed three days ago. And now we don't know what to think. Move your people along the road as they walk along the road. There was something familiar about the stranger, but they couldn't quite decide it. The other friend said, this morning, some women came from Jesus' tomb and told us the body was gone. They said they saw angels who told them he was alive. The body's definitely gone. The, the disciples checked. But what does it mean? Where's the body? So you can put Jesus in the middle of the disciples because he's now going to talk to them and explain everything that had been told in the Old Testament about who the Messiah was and what he was going to be and the fact that he was going to have to suffer. So, and then they approached the city and as they approached, Jesus went as if he was going to go further on. But the disciples called after him, it's too far, you, you've got to stay. You can't just keep going on. And so Jesus said, yes, he would come in. But they did still didn't know who he was. So now you need Jesus and the two disciples sitting round a table with something that they can, that looks like a bit of bread. They came in and Jesus sat down with them to eat the meal but before they started, he took the bread in his hands and he blessed it and he broke it. Now break the bread or break the biscuit and give it two pieces to Jesus. And then he shared it. He 
gave it to the disciples. And then they knew who he was. And he disappeared. Grab Jesus and hide him. And as he disappeared, instead of staying, the disciples quickly got up. Now you get the, the disciples back on the road and with Jerusalem there. And then the disciples ran as fast as they could to back to Jerusalem to tell the other disciples what had happened. And when he got, they got there, the disciples were talking about Jesus. He appeared to Simon. He has risen. And Cleopas told his story and how he had recognised Jesus when he broke the bread. Well done. If you've got um, 11 disciples, you can put them in the picture as they come to tell, uh, as Cleopas comes to tell his story. But don't worry if you haven't. Um, we'll take Jerusalem away. And they tell them. And he reminds them how he recognised who Jesus was. Now see if you can retell the story all by yourselves. Use the disciples and the road. And don't forget, they couldn't recognise Jesus until he, that's right, broke the bread. Now we're going to look at some different pictures from some strange angles and see if you can identify what they are. Can you see what this is? It's a spiral staircase from a Lego model. Now, what do you think this is? Have a look at it. You can always stop the video and decide and then have a look. Were you right? It's a pot of paint. Now, what about this one? Long strands. What do you think this could be? Stop the video. Have a think. Were you right? It's a paintbrush. Look at it. All different coloured shreds. Now, what about this? Have a look at it closely. If you've got any ideas what this could be, it's just a tiny bit of a model. Were you right? It's a mannequin. Now, this one's really strange. It's got a bit of a spring and some plastic bits. What do you think it could be? Stop the video. Where you're right, it's a pair of scissors. Now, this one's a bit easier. Lots of round holes. I wonder what it could be. Stop the video. Where you're right, it's the bottom of a Lego board. Now... This one's very strange. It's very hard to identify what this is. It's the bottom of something. Stop the video. Well, you're right. It's a glue stick. Yes. Now, this one, mm -hmm. it's made of wood. It's got some patterns carved in it. Stop the video. Well, you're right. Yes, it's the cross that we saw on Palm Sunday. Now, look at this one. You can see into it. And it's white with some pictures on it. Stop the video. Oh, were well, you right? It's a mug. Yes. Now, what about this one? It looks like... What does it look like? Yes, it looks like a fish. But is it just a fish? Stop the video. It's a knife. Did you guess that? Ready to use. Now, what about this one? This is very strange. It's very old. Now, stop the video. Did you decide? It's a really old key. You can make your own reveal pictures. All you need is a piece of white paper and a candle. And what you use is you make the marks with the candle. So you can do the picture or the drawing on your piece of white paper or card you need to press really quite hard to get something down on the paper um, you can choose your shapes if you're very careful you can even write some letters I've just chosen some simple shapes and then you can pretend there's nothing on the paper and then suddenly with the aid 
of some very thin paints, you should be able to reveal your picture underneath, just like I did with these shapes. So, it might be worth having a go. See who you can fool. It's time for our prayers. As we light the candle, when we remember that Jesus appeared to the two disciples walking along the road from Jerusalem to Emmaus, he only showed who he was when he broke the bread and blessed it, and they were able to see him. Sometimes we can't see everything and know what it is. Sometimes we need it explaining to us, and sometimes we just need to look more carefully. So we're going to think about our families, the people we live with, and those of our families who are not with us, and keep them safe, and we ask Jesus to be with them all. We can name those that we want to. We can cuddle our prayer bear. And then we're going to say, God loves you and God loves me. And God loves everyone in my house. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. See you next week.